Hi, this is the Board Game Nerd. This is the part two of the video, City of the Dead, uh, the board game that I make. Uh, I did some changes. Uh, one of them are uh, uh, the zombies are the same, so I didn't change them. I make uh, two more, so there are now two, four, six, eight zombies. But I have changed uh, the survivors, and there are six of them. The first one is with a knife. He he's a, a mechanic. The second one is a hunter. Uh, he has a crossbow. Uh, the third one is a fireman. He has a fire axe. The fourth one is a baseball player. He has a modified baseball bat with uh, nails in it. I got a veteran with a shotgun. And I got a policeman with a gun. Uh, you can see it's a policeman it has here a badge. So I tried to make two survivors to be ordinary people. I didn't want to make them soldiers. This this is why I've changed them. Uh, now the board will look like this is only a, a drawing. Now this this is a supermarket. Like. Now this is a supermarket and uh, the city will be, I will draw the city and uh, in the city I will draw buildings and uh, every building will have a name like uh, police station, fire station, supermarket, office and uh, the survivors will go in every building to search for uh, ammo, resources, food, tools, and this is one of the building, it's the supermarket. I'll only draw it. Here is the, the entrance in the supermarket. And uh, the goal, the game uh, will go like, like this. In uh, this scenario, it will be the mechanic with the knife and the hunter. They're in the building to find resources. And uh, uh, the number of zombies in the building will be determined by uh, how big the building is. Like you see, this is a... Uh, a nine square per per six, so this is a, a really big building, and I will put in every nine squares. I will put a zombie, so there will be one, two, three, four. Five, six. Now in this building will be six zombies. Now there is the seven on every zombie, but I will erase that. Uh, the survivors will have will uh, they can move two steps in any direction and will have one action point when they can search or attack or dodge uh, the melee weapon so uh, the mechanic with the melee weapon will have two dices and the hunter with the crossbow will have three dices if uh, the hunter when uh, you attack with the hunter, 
if you have at the three dice one one two of them are the same let's say you throw the dice and you have two twos and a one then that's a shot so you have to have a double to be a shot the mechanic with the melee weapon when he attacks say like this you you throw only one dice if it's um a bigger and the dice it's a bigger number than the zombie because when you attack you have to throw a dice if let's say uh, you attack uh, and the dice will show a five and the zombie will have a four then the zombie is dead but if you have a four and the zombie has a five then you missed but in that uh, condition then the zombie can attack so this is only the part two of the video it will be a part three and in part three I hope I will finish it and explain everything with more detail